Hey there, Seto Corsa again. This time we are reviewing the new extension to the Hamburg map by 4R called Denmark. This was announced two days ago and this is my first drive of it. Does not have two real traffic yet for Denmark that I can find. So we're just gonna drive it as is, but it is the continuation of the growth of the Hamburg map where he ex uh, intends to grow it all the way into Stockholm, which is kind of exciting. So this will be just an exploration. I've not driven it yet, um, but it is again a freeway map. Um, there is no traffic yet for it. So we're just gonna have a little bit of fun. See what we see. Oh, look, an airplane. And I don't know to what degree this is a complete map yet. I noticed that when I installed it, there was some indication that there were some missing aspects of some of the files. But it loaded up fine, and it appears to be fairly complete. So I saw this on Friday, but uh, unfortunately was preparing for the Fuji 8-hour special event on iRacing. At, uh, my team and I drove on Saturday morning, got up bright and early. Well, it was dark and early. I actually, I got up at uh, 2.50 a.m. my time to participate in uh, that event. Um, mostly because I had to get up and shower, have a cup of coffee, get us loaded into the session so that we could start uh, qualifying at uh, the appropriate time to run the race. So I saw this map, this Denmark map announced, but I couldn't jump right on it and do a video for it. So I thought I'd do it today. I did not look to see how long this map is, but it looks like a pretty extensive run all the way through. As though we are starting in Denmark and headed first west and then south towards Hamburg because the bottom of the map that's on the screen right now looks like the Hamburg map proper and the Hamburg airport that we drove out to last time we did the, uh, the drive in Hamburg by 4R. And if I got that wrong and uh, you want to provide an update in the comment to uh, let me know where I'm wrong, please let me know, but that's that certainly appears to be what the case is. There are several variations on this map where you start in different places. It's kind of nice but they are again overlaid into the Hamburg map. So you actually open up the Hamburg by 4R and then you'll see the new Denmark configurations, I guess, or map variations. Not having to dodge traffic, we can uh, take a look at the map without getting too uh, insanely entrenched in it. Just go fast and look around. And pretty important. 
incredible map if it goes all the way to uh, Stockholm from Hamburg. Because that's not a short distance. At least not for an Assetto Corso map. That's pretty, pretty big. Sky. Those balloons? No idea what that is. exits off the freeway yet, so that may be where that will be uh, added later. Not sure. If you remember the Hamburg Drive, there were a lot of exits where we could go off and explore various aspects of the map. I didn't see any exits. Of course, I was doing 180 miles an hour, so it's possible I missed something. This is a nice uh, bridge. a similarity in terms of no hezi. You put some traffic in and the whole no hezi dodging traffic. So I'm wondering if part of this effort with this map is to uh, give a really, really long, long, long section of freeway for no hezi sort of competitions. it goes right pretty hard, so I'm going to slow down just a hair before we get up here. Make sure I don't wind up crashing the car before we see all we want to see. There's a train.
so dramatic, but it was probably good that we slowed down a little bit. I am driving this uh, with live enabled, so it looks like it's uh, around 9.52 in the p.m. in Denmark. exits. Like I said, it's possible that I, I missed them, but I, I don't think I did. Which I guess makes sense. Release a new extension. You want to get the core extension done and released and maybe do some expanding on it later. I do know that he's working on um, some updates to the Hamburg map in general um, that will improve quality and performance. Uh, road textures and other sorts of things. Uh, I read a quick look about that. Uh, same uh, time uh, or same day the announcement for this track was released. So, we will see. I just, I, I really, I, I love to see maps get expanded, uh, authors continuing to expand on their work and improve on it, take suggestions, feedback. Um, it's evidence of a vibrant community, which is what we all long for, I think, when we do anything, but especially in terms of uh, Seto Corsa or simulators in general. We want to build a community around what we do, whether that's uh, joining leagues or participating in team endeavors to, uh, to run races or in a Seto Corsa, building up these environments and uh, joining servers and doing different things, which is something that I've not explored a great deal. I haven't done a lot of server uh, joining as of yet. I am going to build up my own server um, with my community. I, I put a post up on my channel talking about my plans there. One of the things that's always a concern, I guess is a word, or maybe it's not concern, maybe it's just a, a management function, is you want to make sure you maintain control over who has access to what. You don't want it to be a free-for-all. Everybody join and turn in and get maybe some bad people that don't really have the same ideals that the rest of us do. Don't want to go down that road. So what I want to do is I want to grow my channel to the point where I can support memberships. And I'm not looking to charge a whole lot of money or anything like that, but I am looking to maybe gate access to the activities that I want to do with the community, which may include some iRacing um, hosted races or some Assetto Corso um, hosted server events with specific maps that we all vote on and decide that we want to race on with a particular set of cars. All exciting stuff, but want to gate that with some sort of controls. And I could put up a Patreon page and do it that way. I want to avoid that if I can. Um, I'd rather do it through the existing ecosystem I'm already a part of, which is YouTube. And in order to support that, I need to grow my subscribers up to 500, which we're really close. Um, we're getting close to, I think, uh, 420 something, 425 subscribers, which is great. 500 is the mark for uh, being able to support membership. But then my bigger problem 
is that I need to increase my viewer hours. Viewer hours is a little trickier. Um, and right now, I'm about halfway to what I need for the first stage to be able to support membership. And so I've got about almost 1,200 viewing hours in a 365 day window. I need 3,000. So I'm asking for your help. If you enjoy my content and you do want to see me um, host some servers, host some events in various formats, um, and do all that kind of stuff. Well, that was an exit, so I could have gotten off there. Looks like a rest stop, maybe? Um, if you want to see that happen, help me with the uh, viewing hours. And the, way, the easiest way you can do that is to grab hold of one of my playlists either maybe the Assetto Corsa drives. I have right now, as of to date, this will be the 42nd video in that series. And just put on that playlist and let it play. Listen to the content and uh, you don't have to pay a lot of attention to it. If you want to, you can. I'm not advocating that you can't <laughs> watch the videos, but having them on the background, great way to get some viewing hours and uh, maybe listen to some stuff, uh, listen to it like a podcast. I I've been told I have a soothing voice. So, the other uh, videos that we have, uh, we have a lot of team events that we have done. So there are a couple of uh, seasons worth, or a few seasons worth of videos of our team events that we've participated in. So now we're creeping into the most northern part of the Hamburg map, if I am reading things correctly. be able to continue to drive along here and we'll pass by the airport which will be on the left hand side so we're back on on the hamburg map at this point so i think that that's the conclusion of the denmark portion of the map which looks pretty incredible be nice to see him expand on it give some exits etc it'll be good but um it's good stuff but uh if you want to support watch some of the playlists um like i said i, I actually um know a lot of people put on videos and just listen to them in the background all day long, uh, listen to them like a podcast, that sort of thing. And um, if you don't find the sound of my voice uh, shrill, annoying, or otherwise uh, damaging to your psyche, uh, that would be a great way to get to a higher level of viewing hours that'll get us to that goal of being able to support membership in the channel and um, be able to do some super chats and other sorts of things, which is great. Um, show link my store to my channel. I do have a store with merchandise if you're interested in that sort of thing. I want to get all those things linked in. That's the first level of, uh, I guess, partnership? I don't think it's partnership. It's just capabilities um, in the YouTube ecosystem. And I need 500 subscribers. I need 3,000 viewing hours of content in the last 365 days. We're halfway there on the viewing content, and we're, I would say, 90% there on the subscriber level. So if you can continue to share, like, comment, um, and watch more content, that would be really, really helpful. So we'll just keep driving on the Hamburg here. We'll go all the way down, because I don't think I actually explored all the way. I got to the airport and the exit of the airport and did not get any further. So we'll get... Uh, up here at least to the airport before we conclude this but uh this is a great map great effort by 4r to uh, continue to evolve and develop this map and uh i for one applaud it um and i don't feel the least bit uh taken advantage of by being charged for great content development uh it doesn't cost a lot to become a member and uh anything that he releases if you're a patreon subscriber you get access to it and that's fair so I was able to leverage uh, what I subscribed to to get access to the full download of the Hamburg map and got the announcement about Denmark and went in and downloaded the extension of the map. So can't, you can't uh, be too angry at that, I don't think.
I think the airport exit is coming up here. Yeah, go there to the airport. So, I think that I'm going to wrap this up because the rest of this we've all seen uh, in the recent Hamburg video, so we don't need to drive the whole thing again, especially without traffic. But uh, I do appreciate you watching. I hope this has been uh, as uh, exciting for you as it has been for me. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this extension and to see where this map continues to go. And uh, hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Thanks for joining, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.